What's up everyone? It's your boy RGB here. Uh, I've been wanting to make a video for a while about basic Leviathan um, building weapons, a little bit about play styles, tactics. going to keep it super basic <coughs> um, so everybody can understand it. And then if you want some more advanced stuff then you can come watch me on Twitch. And then you'll get a good idea of what I do well and what I do badly. But all right, um, we'll start. We'll start basic. All right. So we're looking at with a cockpit levy, an Apollo. You're looking at 66 points of energy. Um, weapon selection. All right. You're talking. You're allowed 12 points from each category so if you're unsure about the categories you can go to the technology tree as i have done right here okay and what we'll do is we'll we'll go through them all um we'll talk about probably the best ones in each category and see which ones you might want to use depending on how much money you've got all right so what we got first let's go for let's go for machine guns so Ideally, you either want three punishers, because they're four points each, so 12. Um, these are good because computers don't miss. I mean, obviously they do, but computers don't miss as much as humans do um, when aiming. So you get the damage perk quickly, and then when you've got the damage perk, it won't waste it, <coughs> basically. Okay, that's why they're good. Uh, machine guns aren't affected by flash, um, so you should always have a set of machine guns. If you can't afford Punishers, which a lot of you can't, I would recommend Imps. Um, the reason being, if you look at the perk, you get a 5% um, damage buff per machine gun that you have. There are only three points, so you can have four of them. So they do lots of damage. Um, weak points behind them, they're made of chocolate, so they come off easy. And they're, 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 low, they're low range. Very, very low range. You need to be quite close. You can't do the, the range sort, you know, medium medium range battles that you can with the Punishers. Um, if you can't afford those, go with Fidgets. Um, uh, Arbiters, not so good. I, I would go. I would go Fidgets. Fidget, Imp, Punisher. That's my choice. Shotguns. Breaker's best. Hammerfall is great. If you can't afford Breaker, because um, it jams... It jams up the the levy's weapons. Basically, it just means for a few seconds all of the weapons can't move. Um, and when you're talking, when you've affected a leviathan with that jamming, that's a lot of damage. You know, that's that could be 4k damage that he's missed out on immediately, particularly with you know three fuse disruptors. Um, it's big damage to be missing out on for for a couple of seconds. So quite important. I've been running hammer falls even recently. You know, up until. Up until I've got my full breakers, I've been running hammer falls. Before that, I was running passers um, because you may have some two fuse from the battle pass a while ago. They're not great. They're all right. They're all right. But hammer fall, breaker, much, much better. I wouldn't bother with anything else personally from the shotgun, shotgun range. Um, so, yeah, breaker, hammer fall, passer in that order. Auto cannons, um, maybe wells. If you don't have a lot of money, you could use wells. They're not bad. Again, you can put three of them. Good durability, good damage. Um, the more enemies are around you, you get that, that damage buff. Um, decent. I wouldn't recommend anything else personally on your levy. Um, cannons, stay away. Is is my advice here. Leave them alone. I've I've tried Mastodons. I know a few people that like them. Um, they're damn heavy. They are slow. Slow to fire. Slow to aim. Uh, they don't do a great deal. And if they miss, there's a lot of, again, a lot of damage wasted there in, in time. So I would say well away from cannons, personally. Um, again, maybe if, if you're running something cheap, maybe you could do Fat Mans. Maybe you could do Elephants. I mean, but elephants are cheap, so <laughs> maybe Fat Man's if you, you know, if you really are scraping the bottom of the budget barrel for uh, 
for levies, but otherwise, stay away from cannons. Stay away from rockets. Uh, main reason, flash. Stay away from hurricanes. Heathers, at the point of making this video, they're, they're still quite new. Um, maybe, but I doubt it. <coughs> you could, you could. Make, I've seen people put waltz on there. Um, a few people like them. Not my choice. They're, you only get two because they're six points each. And, nah, I don't like them. Wretches are a must-have in your uh, in your Leviathan build, in my opinion. So you want to make sure you fill this grenade launcher section. So either two wretches or two threshers if you're on a budget. Okay. Um, good things about them. Wretches, big damage. Threshers, good impulse and good damage at, at range. They're, they're accurate. So the computer does, you know, the, the computer targeting does well with the threshers. And again, if, you, if you're attacking a hover with freshers, you've got good impulse, it moves them, it makes it an absolute pain in the ass for them. Energy weapons. Now, the, the probably the best category, and the one where you'll probably have the biggest arguments about it. Um, I'll keep it simple and go straight for, my choice, three destructors. Um, if you had the battle pass, a battle pass previously, you've already got two fuse destructors. If you don't, this is going to be quite expensive if you want these. Um, I would run three of those. Main reason, 800% damage if the computer hits, you know, till the end, gets a complete shot on a cabin of a levy. You're talking big numbers. You know, if you're chasing another Leviathan and you hit him in the cab with all three destructors, big, big damage. Okay. Um, now, this is an odd one. Now, we talked about the 12 points of energy. You're only allowed 12 from each section before it starts costing you more. Um, Aurora doesn't seem to count with destructors so you can run destructors you can have three of those at making 12 points you can also run an aurora um, as well but you can't get the gravistar in there too but aurora seems to be in this weird little zone where it's even though it says it's an energy weapon um you could also argue maybe it's a minigun maybe it's a machine gun um, no it seems to be in this weird little zone where you can still add it even after the 12 points so bear that in mind uh, again, I recently run Aurora still. If you're low on budget, great choice of weapon. Definitely do it. Otherwise, the triggers are okay. 500% more damage to your destructors. If you're on a budget, triggers. All right. Um, crossbows. I would definitely take something from the crossbow section. Personally, I would do... Again, I've got three toadfish on mine. I still run them. They're not fused. They're just basic. They work wonders. Because they, they track targets, even when they're behind cover still. They move quickly. They've got great impulse. So, again, when you hit when you hit something, it spins them, knocks them off their shot, does whatever you need it to do to disrupt them. So, I would definitely take Toadfish, if you can afford them. Um, if you can't, Spikes, yeah, they're okay. Take them. If you can't afford Toadfish, take them. It's 12 points of energy worth having. All right, I'll... Once we finish this, I'll go through the must-haves, in, in my opinion, again. Leave the melee weapons well alone. Um, leave the fire weapons well alone. Um, in here, right, mine layers. <coughs> I don't use them personally, but there is big arguments for King. Um, and I'll show you... I've got a video, which I'll put in, where you can see I'm fighting somebody who's dropping a lot of King mines. Um, it distracts the Leviathan's weapons really really well so it's a good defensive uh, a weapon to have on your leviathan um i don't do defensive sod that attack kill murder death kill sod defensive but again this this i've seen it work very very well so you know again if you're if you're low on if you're low on on money um you've got a spare three points somewhere chuck one on there go for it um drones i'd leave well alone you can use the, um, you know, leave the leave the flying drones well alone, is my opinion. Again, flash gets rid of too easily. Okay. Um, barrier. Barrier can be good. If you're using range, you know, range levy, scorpions, toadfish. If you can put scorpions and toadfish on your, on your levy, there's no reason why you can't drop a barrier in there. <clears throat> it will be useful. It just It's just going to change how you play slightly. Um, your play style is going to have to be... Not based around the the drone, but it will help you if you if you do take you know range builds with you and and use it effectively. Okay, um, special weapon zones. Scorpion. 
it's all right. I've I've got scorpions. If you see me play normal pe you know, normal clan wars, I use these day in day out. Love them. On the levy, eh, not so much. And I'll and I'll show in in videos in a minute why they're not great. Uh, the main reason I think is the verifier on on a on an ad. You know, so if you both my scorpions will shoot at, at a verifier, and I've lost a lot of damage and for quite a few seconds. Um, so I don't rate them that much. Again, flash stops the reload. Not so great. Big, easy to shoot off. There's, there's lots of reasons why not. So I personally, if you don't need to, to run these 12 points, because two of them, six points each, 12 points, don't, don't run them. You don't need to. Um, take three adapters instead, is my opinion. Particularly budget build. Three adapters, good damage, um, similar reason you know the, the to the computer they are targeting if it hits you get more damage you know so if you read the perk all projectiles hit last of the uh the last one gets increased damage so yeah definitely a good weapon to be taken instead in my opinion um skinner if you take if you use skinner on a levy you're a tramp <laughs> lots of people do there's a lot of people that argue with me it's it's play style preference if you've got you know breakers and that sort of thing a lot of close range um high damage weapons skin is an obvious choice i don't like to play like that because i don't like to do the whole crash into each other and just hope for the best kind of play style on cross out that's that's not fun in my opinion but lots of people do find it fun all right um so there we go we've talked about the weapons in brief um, if you've got any comments, you want to ask about any other, any other in particular weapons, um, something I might not have covered, then drop it in the comments, I'll have a look, and I'll, I'll get back to you about it. I'll let you know what I think. Um, so there's a brief overview of the weapons. Now, let's talk about must-haves. Alright, so if you're going to start with any levy, for me, you've got to be running a cockpit. Straight away, I'll, I'll make sure I put myself in. We'll, we'll go into filters and we'll go on exhibition and we'll look at what we got. And it, it nicely it nicely keeps the um, the items that I'm talking about in here. So you can see, in case you're listening, if you can't hear my voice correctly and you need to see on the screen. Um, for me, it's cockpit. And then you need boosters. Okay. So the Hermes is the, the better choice. So if you can afford Hermes, right, <clears throat> you use three of these. Okay. The reason being, um, I'll show you on the market because then we can get the actual description of this. Right? You use three of these if you've got Hermes. So if you look at the perk at the bottom, all right, it's 15% bonus um, from an epic booster to the damage on cockpit. You know about cockpit, you get 40% max damage boost um, at 75 kilometers an hour and boosting. Okay? So you only need three, that gives you 45%. You lose one, you're down to 30. Still not horrendous. Okay. Uh, it used to be 50% and everybody ran four. If you're not aware of this change where it's gone down to 40%, you now only need three. Um, if, you wanna, if you're on a budget, you can run the res and you run four. Okay, saving you a lot of money. Because obviously, rare booster price compared to epic booster price is a fraction of. Uh, you just need one more. So it does cost you one more point. But again... No problems. A lot of people are running four epic boosters and don't even know about this change, I, I suspect. So you, you're no worse off than a lot of the levy players out there. All right. So that's a little bit about the cockpit and boosters. Um, fantastic. Let's go back to the exhibition. OK, so we've got we've got cockpit and we've got boosters. Right. The next We'll do this one. The next item that you should be putting on your levy is an averter. Okay, hopefully you can afford this. Uh, what am I on? Oh, I'm on. I'm on search. I want to be on market. Okay, so attached to your cab, attached to your favourite weapon in front of your cab. Um, I'm going to be using a breaker in front of my cockpit cab. I can quickly show you if you like 30% damage resistance to your cab and to whatever weapon you've put in front of it um, I can show you how to easily mount that it's not 
there, there may be better ways, but where is my levy? I've lost it. There it is. We'll just have a quick, uh, just assemble this and a little look ski. So you can do this this way, put it like this, and then sit your breaker or whatever on top. Whatever you've got. Something, something with high durability. Um, I'd recommend a breaker doing it this way. Otherwise, you can drop the Averta below and put it onto an Aegis, onto a Generator, or what, whatever you want, really. Um, but that's my favourite favorite setup, is like that. Averta onto the cab, and then a breaker sat on top. Okay? What else? Right, so what we got? We got cockpit, we got Hermes, we got Averta. Okay, next piece of equipment which you must have, in my opinion, is the verifier. Okay? Um, I'll put a video in, in a minute, about the verifier that shows why you should run it on your Leviathan. And on, if you're, a, if you're playing ad, um, you should be running a verifier. Okay? A little bit about the ad. Um, if you, I mean, most most levies are running cockpit, so if you're running a verifier, you're definitely going to detect them. It's not like you're wasting it when there's griffins around, and you need to know where the, the levy is so you don't get jumped by the levy because you only get seconds to react to a leviathan pushing you. Um, we'll go have a we'll have a quick look at a video now, and I'll I'll prove this. I'll show why. <clears throat> and you can see me. So this is during clan wars. You can see me getting frustrated with a leviathan when my scorpions are firing at it. Um, this one, okay. This, I've got a little, there's a little bit of example here on, on what right. not to do. I haven't even got a... I'll get rid of the music, get rid of the sound. Back to the beginning, okay. So, so I'm reacting to this guy here on the map on the left, which is sideways. I can tell by just by the way he's facing. So it's a it's a typhoon. It's it's a scorpion. I know what's in the map. I think I'm pretty sure it's a typhoon in this instance. Okay, so a bit about positioning. What what he's done wrong here is he's let me drive through this position, kill him, and then get out safely. All right. As an ad, you need to be thinking about. You know, am I in a position where a levy can come get free damage on me and he won't get punished? Right, so out here, particularly when I can just drive through here like this, and there's, these, these other three are over here, they can't really react to it. All right, we'll see that. You can see them, basically, this guy hasn't got a verifier. So it's easy for me to kill him in this instance. So we'll show what, basically this shows how easy it is for me to kill him if you're not running a verifier. And then in a video in a minute, I've got um, an instance where it's the same place, actually. Similar, similar sort of location on the map. Um, and the guy's got a verifier, and you can see I do absolutely nothing to him. All right, so I've got out safely here. I've, we've got a kill. Brilliant. Uh, it's that guy. I've not played particularly well there. I've just spotted somebody on the map. He's just not played it very well at all. He's just not aware of his position. He's probably not that. He's probably new at Leviathan. So thinks he's safe on the water. <laughs> You're not safe. Um, what could have happened, his team his, hit their Leviathan then... Whilst I was doing that, should have hit, should have hit my ads at the same point. That's what he should have done. He should have gone in, going right. My mate's dead. I'm going to go in and get one back, get a kill back, or you know, do something. But they, they were slow to react. I get a kill. I get back to position, and I've lost nothing. All right. Um, okay. So that's an example of the verifier. You know why you need it. He didn't even know I was there because I cloaked. Didn't know I was there. If he had a verifier, he would have known. He would have decloaked me. Um, he would have been a lot safer. Okay. Uh, let's have a look at this one. So this is a different instance. Okay, so. That was uh, all my guns shooting at a verifier on an ad. And I got nothing out of it. See if I can pause the right moment. So again, similar situation. I'm cloaking up. There's one here. Right, so this guy right here. You'll see, pops his verifier. All my guns just shoot his verifier. There it is. Verifier up. Scorpion shoots straight at it. 
didn't do a single bit of damage. Got to run one. Right? For the reason of, you know, you're much more aware of the battle space. You will detect me, you know, 95% of the time. Um, unless you're busy, you know, concentrating on other stuff. But the verifier will then save you as well. In that instance, it, he didn't take any damage from me at all. Um, we go on to win this game, but... So again, the verifier there on the levy saved him. My gun's all pointed at it. Didn't do anything. Saved saved the guy that Mark was attacking as well. Where were we? We were back here. Right. So we'll show this again. Okay, come in. All right, there's the verifier popped. Okay. Destructor's already shoot, trying to shoot at it and missing. So it should be shooting at him. It could be shooting at his ad that Mark's attacking here. Instead, my guns are aiming and shooting at the verifier. And they're still tracking the verifier. The verifier's over. Levy gets sa get away safely. Takes no damage. Verifier for one point must on levy and uh, and playing ad. Got to have a verifier. What's, what's going on here? This is just this is just oh, no, finishing I'm off. Good. It's not really a great deal to see. Uh, I need everybody on him. I'm on him. Nice. Yeah, okay. Nice. Very good. Very nice. We have one at base. I'm gonna have to go round for it. Okay, I sound so nasally on stream. That's nice. Okay, what else have we got? Okay, we've got another video here. Okay, so this is an example of Mines, Verifier, and Argus. Which I haven't even talked about Argus. We'll, we'll talk about Argus in a minute. I run Argus. Oh, we got a little bit of Hammerfall there as well. So again, this is live stream. This is me playing Levy Clan Wars with my other Leviathan this time. The one that I mainly use. He's running Toadfish. I don't, right, so it's Verifier. There it is again. Destructor. Shoot straight at it. Again, and Destructor, Destructor's one of the big, da you know, big damage weapons. That should be on his cap. That's what I want to see. I want to see my Destructor firing at his cap. But it's not. It's distracted by the Destructor. I mean by the Verifier. Okay, there's some nice cam shots. Right, you got the jamming then from, from my Hammerfall. You saw it said jammed. Go back. There's the jam. So that's the hammerfall doing what it's supposed to. All of his guns are not pointing at me right now. So I'm doing good damage. And for hmm, maybe a second, half a second, I'm doing free damage to him. Um, getting away with it. Yeah, this is live stream. Somebody's activated, uh, <laughs> somebody's activated this. <laughs> it's one of my favorite videos. Okay, what's he got? Right, this guy's also got king mines. So, lots of king mines all over the floor. This is a terrible choice of a video. I'm sorry. <laughs> right, there we go. Right, lots of king mines all over the floor. Um, my guns aren't really distracted by them. They are a little, but they, they've got so little health. That they die very, very quickly. And, you know, I'm able to finish this off, no problem. He's too defensive. He, he, he dies. I think we win this game. Uh... After killing the levy. Anyways, you get the point. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> I forgot, yeah, Mark saying, I got you, Bay. <laughs> right, anyways, where was I? Well, let's not get distracted. Let's not get distracted. Okay, right. What else? Must haves, must haves. That's where we were. Must haves. Right, so what we got? We got cockpit, Hermes, a ver verifier. I've proved why the verifier is so important. Okay? Um,. You want an Aegis. <clears throat> Three points. Alright. You need that in your lineup. Okay. Um, I used to run an Aegis on three points and then three Arguses. So the Argus does the same as the Verifier. Um, it pops up, distracts, distracts your Destructors, distracts your Toefish, your Scorpions. It's one point. If you've got a point kicking around spare, chuck an Argus on your build. Well worth it. All right. Um, <laughs> what else have we got after that? So that for me is your must-have starter items. Okay. Um, and then your must-have weapons for me after that would then be Wretcher 
or, or fresher, but definitely, definitely retcher um, if you can afford it in there. And then the three destructors, and then three toadfish. And then after that, you can you can mix and match some things, see what you've got. Um, but that's what I would start with as the the best the best leviathan weapons. All right, um, and that's what's that? That's thirty six points. We've got here. We've got three there, one there, one there. Oh, a Doppler. <laughs> Make sure you put a Doppler on your build. <laughs> three, four, five, eight, nine. Plus 36 is 45 points. Um, you've still got what 21 to play with after the uh, the basic RGB starter kit. All right, we'll see what let's see what's on exhibition that I can search for with these basic kits. Let's go. Let's chuck in some wretches. Oh, I can't. I can't search. Right, I'm not. I'm going to take the Doppler off. Um, and I'm going to take the Averter off just because it'll only let me select so many. So everybody should be running these, in my opinion. So the builds that we're going to find, you know, we're going to are going to have these. I'll tell you what, we'll go for a cheaper version. So we'll go, we'll go fresher. Let's see if anybody's made a nice cheap one to to my effects. I haven't even looked yet. We'll do it live. Why not? Thresher and what did I say? I said trigger didn't I? If you don't have the money for destructors. Let's see who's got this. So there's a couple out there. Oh yes, I did pre-like this one. Okay, so this is a good example of a cheap um, Leviathan. And who's who's made this? Talios game. Okay. And there's not many likes or downloads on it. You see it's running at about 34, 32k. 32.5k. What's he got? So Doppler, Verifier, only two boosters. Has he got some blue ones? He's got two blue ones as well. I mean, I would just run four blue ones. So what's he doing there? 20% plus 30. So that's a 50%. So this is probably old because this will be when the cockpit was a 50% maximum bonus. But they nerfed it down to 40. So you need to bear that in mind. So I, I would run four blast offs. And you can get a spare point there. Um, he's got a verifier. He's got a Doppler. Good. Um, engine. Cheater. Now, I would recommend the Oppressor, personally, depending on what you've got. If you've got crossbows and things like that, you want the Oppressor. If you've got, like, this guy's got machine guns and such things, yeah, all right, you probably don't need it. Okay? Um, he's running the triggers. He's running fidgets. He's running two hammerfalls. The blockchain, I, I don't know why he's running that. I guess he's using stuff that he's got from a battle pass because it's fused. It's got the battle pass fusion. Okay, I get it. If you've got battle pass stuff... Get him used. Um, he's got one retcher, one fresher. He's got a well. It's, it looks like, again, this is pretty much battle pass stuff. You know, he's using stuff from his battle pass, which is a good idea. If you've got it, use it. Again, we talked about these as, as cheap weapons. Um, if you've got a lot of the battle pass stuff, chuck it all in there. Other than that, yeah, it's, he's got a car jack. Brilliant. I don't run one. Um, don't crash. <laughs> Let's have a little drive with this. What's he got? That's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so this is good. This is a nice, cheap Leviathan. And this is going to be effective. Alright, it's not perfect. But this is going to be effective. Oh, okay. The, the steering needs to be sorted out on this. It's not... It doesn't handle very well. But the, the premise of it, the weapons that are on there, minus the blockchain, not bad at all. There's plenty of stuff I would change, but... I mean, I'd be throwing three whales on there instead of the grabber stars and the blockchains. But again, it, he's using battle pass stuff. Depends what you've got. Yeah, this is not bad. You'll do well with this. You'll be able to carry your friends with something like this. Maybe, maybe into uranium. With this maybe, maybe depends what you bring with your friends. Maybe not. Okay. Um, what else do I need to talk about? We talked about the oppressor. We talked about all the weapons. Okay. Right. Wheels. Okay. So, wheels, wheels, wheels. Um, now, these are... Would like to have, not necessarily have, but we'll just talk about it. Some people may may not have even thought about this. Um, we'll talk about the claws first, because most people are aware of the claws. Um, I run them, all right? You're getting, you know, you're getting 4% damage to your destructors, which is the, the, big, the big damage items, the destructors, okay? Now, on this levy... They're where I like them. Run them at the back, out the way. Okay? 
because they are wicked weird when you put them in the middle of your build. On my other levy, I've got them in the middle of the build here. I'll quickly show you. Let's do that. All right, okay, they're in here. Now, problem is, if I lose a few of these Bigfoots, they're touching the ground and they they don't steer, they do nothing. Um, get them up in the air, at the back, out the way. They're not affecting anything. All right, is is my opinion. So this new the newer levy that I'm working on is, which I've downloaded and I'm tweaking. Um, this one that we're in a much better place, much more advanced. Okay, now the one that people may not be aware of is this buggy wheel. Okay, so the pack of this. Um, back to cockpit basics. You get the forty percent damage bonus when you're doing more than seventy five kilometers an hour and you're boosting. Okay, so the main thing is you need to be doing more than 75 kilometers an hour. So if you're not doing that speed, you're not, whether you're boosting or not, you're not getting that damage buff. Okay, so what these do is these reduce the requirement um, for that speed. Okay, um, so it says it's up to 40% reduction. All right, um, I think you can get it down to what? 60 kilometers an hour something like that um i haven't gone mental on all this i throw four on because again if you've done all the battle passes previously you get four of these fused you get two non-steers and two steers okay we can have a, a little a little look see what we get it at what sort of speed do we get so the standard 75 uh, so i was getting that at about 60 something 60 no 65 yes so like 65 kilometers kilometers an hour is what that was bringing it down to roughly i've not done the map i'm just showing you the the speed difference which is in the bottom right if you're unsure of where to look next to the mini map i'm looking at that there and the buff for the cockpit is in the bottom left of all the icons 60 not getting it That's right there we go 65 ish is where I'm getting that 40%. If you look in the bottom left, a flashing 40% in red. That's when you're getting your 40% as I'm clicking on and off the boost. All right. Um, what else have we got? I'm pretty sure that is... That is most of the basics covered. Um, other than that... Parts that you need for building your levy, you want to be leveling up your Steppenwolves, your Scavengers, and buying the um, buying the Founders parts, the structural parts. Now, you can get these on the Badge Exchange. Okay, if you're not aware of this, some people you're all aware of this. You know, I'm teaching you to suck eggs. Don't worry about it. Um, if you're not aware of this, you can buy the parts that you need from the founders on here in exchange for badges. Okay, recommend getting those because they are big durability uh, items. Okay, otherwise Steppenwolves, get your big durability parts, get them on there. Um, yeah, that's probably it now, I would say. Yeah, nothing else, nothing else I really want to talk about other than and standard tactics. Um, I run as a standard tactic. I will split our team of four. I look at it as two teams. So the Leviathan is one team. And the three ads are another team. So the three ads work together. And stay together as one team. And the Leviathan alone is one team. So the two teams can split up. Right? But you never actually split the individual teams that's too complicated I'm making this really complicated I don't know why I'm making this complicated it's simple three ads stick together Leviathan can go off do whatever move people around um, but the three ads stick together ideally the three ads are looking to fight the other the other team's Leviathan and me as a Leviathan I'm looking to kill their three ads All right um, there you go that's simple Leviathan's 101. I hope you've all learned something. Um, if you haven't and you know it all, 
Why don't Why don't you watching me? Why are you watching me? I don't. You know, better, better. Good for you. Well done. I'm I'm getting better. I'm trying to get better. I'm giving you I'm giving you what I know. I'm giving you what I know. Um, and that is basics. Um, basics for ads. One more thing to mention: if you're gonna be an ad, run behold a cabin, run a verifier. Okay, this is a nice cheap build. Wretches with a verifier on beholder cabin. Okay. Reason being, the cloak on beholder will save you from a cockpit boost of Leviathan a lot of the times. The verifier will save you a lot of the times from detecting him to then distracting his weapons. When he comes near you, you pop it. Alright, and it will save you. Save you a lot of times. Alright, you can also chuck on We'll, we'll show this. If you're not aware of the Beholder... Eh, is it a glitch? Is it a game feature? The Beholder Jewel Cloak. If you're not aware of it by now... Um, I'm going to tell you about it. Okay, so... Let's see if I can show this effectively. I haven't got one, so we'll test drive it. How is it, is it on the right buttons? Okay. So, you can cloak... Right, you get one good cloak. Fantastic. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Avoiding the Leviathan. He can't touch me. He can't shoot me. So I'm cloaked. He's still there. Pop that. Cloak again. All you need is the rift. Sorted. And this thing, I'll tell you now, as a Leviathan, is the most annoying thing about Leviathan Clan Wars, is these dual cloaks. Now, you do lose your long cloak once you've popped your rift, but genuinely... Generally, once you've done this, you know, there's so much time wasted by Leviathan chasing you whilst you're in cloak and you can't do anything. You've probably put yourself well out of position by now and the other Leviathan has manoeuvred himself into either killing your ads or killing you whilst you're chasing this this ad that's used as, you know, dual beholder. Um, the top end guys are running, you know, hover beholders with the wrists and, and that's what... That's what's effective. And as soon as we hit that silver mark in Clan Wars, it's just filled with <laughs> rift, rift Beholders. And it's an absolute pain in the ass. So if you want to earn more money in Leviathans as an ad, run this. Run Typhoons. Run Wretches. Run whatever you want. As long as it's a Beholder with a Rift, Jewel Cloak, and a Verifier, you're golden. All right. So cheers, guys. Um, thanks for watching. I will see you soon for another video. Um, I'll catch you all on my Twitch. Um, I stream normal Clan Wars, which is my favourite, and Leviathan Clan Wars, where I play the Leviathan. I don't normally play ad. Um, not many people like doing it. I don't mind it. All right, I'll see you guys around. Peace. Punishes over there on the right. I haven't even got a verifier on this thing. I've only just noticed. Octo's cloak. Typhoon is dead. Defend yourselves. Defend yourself. This is the slow trailing. Well, I've got a. Uh... One what? coming around the left again. Well, the main 11. problem is they shoot a verifier all the time, and then that's just all that damage waste, wasted. So we kill that scorp on the right here now. I'm gonna push him off the edge. Go, oh. on. go kill him. I'm gonna go find. He's close. Had enough of him. Levy's mark is coming up the hill. Look out, Mark. Watch, watch Mark. Watch Mark. This is the problem. It is, it is, I agree. And I got top now. So I have to turn for the fucking lever. Levy's in the canyon. Go on, chase him up. Leave him, Mark. Dead now. Right. I'm here with you for Levy, but we're gonna die. No, we're not. I got we, you, babe. We might do. Oh, I got you. I got you, babe. One pole only left, though. But I'm stopping him, I'm flashing him. For now, I'll do. You got him, just keep on him and you will get him. Tell him I'm him. I need everybody on him. Yeah, I'm on him. Nice. Okay, very good, very nice. We have one at base. I'm gonna have to go round for it. To the, to the. Uh, to the make sure you're on that levy. Make sure you're on that levy. I'm on the levy. I was likely gonna kill me, but now did at least five, six k. What's up, baby? <coughs> did you miss me? A lot of oh. 
So we'll just shoot, shoot faster. You're not the best to be doing thing. too much to him there, X. Why not? It's, it's the head. It's the head.